What's up everybody, Jay Leone here today with another video for you. Hope everybody is doing well today. Uh, and today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at wire. Yes, I said wire. We're going to be looking at titanium wire by a company called Spider Silk. And yes, I was wrong in the intro. It's not a company called Spider Silk. It's a company called Envy. The wire is called Spider Silk Titanium Wire. The company that makes the wire is Envy. So, um, I got a little curious about titanium. There's a lot of buzz about titanium. Is it safe? Is it not safe? Well, I'm not really going to tell you if it's safe, if it's not safe. Uh, you're going to have to make that decision on your own if you feel like uh, it's, it's worth using. Uh, it's the same thing with nickel wire. We had to make the decision. Is nickel worth using? Um, I've come to some conclusions which I'll share with you here and throughout this video of between titanium and nickel wire and uh, yes I'll share all that stuff with you so I got a little curious about this after watching uh, Richard uh, N's video over there in Malaysia he did a good video on it on uh, titanium wire and shared his experiences and I figured I'd do a little bit of the same so I'm taking a page out of your book, Richard. I thought it was a good idea, and I figured uh, the more videos on this, the better. So, let's get into it. I got this wire for about 16 bucks shipped. NVSig.com. Um, they're the makers of this particular wire. I don't think they actually manufacture the wire. I think they're, you know, they spool it and they use a cleaning agent. And I'll get into all the stuff that they actually do to the wire here in a minute. So, about 16 bucks shipped. Um, how much wire are you going to get? Not getting a lot of wire. It's 15 feet of wire for 16 bucks, so it's a little more than a dollar a foot of wire, basically. So it is not cheap. I mean, you can get it in bigger spools. I've seen the price go up to like 65 dollars for a big spool of it. Not sure how much it is. So this is not cheap wire. But with titanium, I kind of want the extra safety into it. Um, with the extra, because they let me read you the process here of what they do with their wire. It's, first of all, it's 26 gauge wire, and you shouldn't compare the gauge to regular 26 gauge Canthal wire because it is completely different. Uh, resistance wise, it's completely different. I'm just going to read a little bit off their website here some good uh, information and specs on the wire itself. Uh, it's surgical grade titanium wire, 99.5% pure titanium. Non toxic, bi biocompatible, and inert. Generally, a better alternative to other wire. Ultra low resistance wire, competition wire. Spider Silk TI wire has up to a third of the resistance of Canthal. So it's got a lot lower resistance than Canthal, Nichrome, and other resistance wires. That is not include nickel. Uh, low resistance equals more wraps, greater surface area, bigger clouds. Rapid heating and cooling. Um, quickly produces more vapor and also less strain on the cotton because it cools quicker and less wasted juice. Uh, your builds are, it's, it's claiming it's going to make your builds last longer, uh, two times longer exactly. Um, and here's their cleaning process. Spider Silk TI wire does not use any acid etching and because of TI wire properties we cannot torch the wire to burn the cutting oils. Instead, instead of these typical ways to clean the wire, we use a four stage cleaning process to remove as much of the cutting oils as possible. First, we use, wa we use a water bath on the TI wire, then we use a microfiber cloth soaked in an all natural hypoallergenic soap to wipe down the wire as we spool. Next, we put a maximum of 10 spools into an ultrasonic cleaning bath of water and all natural hyper hyper hypoallergenic soap for four minutes. Finally, we transfer the spools into a second ultrasonic cleaning bath of isopropyl, propyl, of isopropyl alcohol and water, and after four minutes, we take them out and set them to dry. So this is how they're cleaning their wire. So it is a process. Um, it seems pretty legit. Um, and then let me read you a little bit more here. Why we don't use typical process of clean TI wire. Acid etching titanium is usually used in jewelry and other applications. Although our process of clean spikers, spider silk titanium wire is not 100% perfect, we strive to make each vaping experience the best it can be without, without degrading the titanium wire or using dangerous chemicals. 
we are always looking to improve our process and are open to any suggestions from the vaping community. Um, this is a number uh, email here if you want to contact them with suggestions. Um, spider silk is great for temperature control devices as well as used on mech mods and other regulated and unregulated devices. So that's a little bit of the cleaning process. I know that was a lot, but this is it's very important stuff to know. You know, it's not just TI wire spooled and sent out to you. This is TI wire that's given the extra step to get some of the chemicals and oils off there without using any dangerous chemicals to get those off, which is nice. Um, so this is why it's a premium wire. One misconception about titanium wire is, uh, at least from what I've read on the web, and I've done some research on this, is that titanium will light on fire basically and yeah titanium only will light on fire in its powdery form which is usually I think used in fireworks so in wire form like it is now it's not gonna light on fire I took a torch to it it, it glows red just like any wire glows and it does not combust or anything like that so I did my own experiment on it I was gonna do it on camera and I totally left that out but anyways that's one of the misconceptions of titanium wire. Another thing with titanium wire that you do not want to do is let your coil glow red. So you do not want to dry burn it like you do with traditional canthal. Um, you will get what they call titanium dioxides, um, which is like a white, uh, whitish looking powder substance on your coils. You'll see it. I've I actually seen a video of somebody doing it. And it's got like a bunch of white specks all over it. That is um, something you don't want. So do not dry burn your coil. If you must, must dry burn your coil, pulse it. Very lightly, quickly, pulse, 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 done. Do not let it glow cherry red. Just look at these di dioxides. But from also what I've read, titanium dioxides in the form that we're, you know, in vaping, in small quantities, it's not harmful to the body. I actually read somewhere that. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts used to use titanium dioxides in their powdered donuts to keep the color really white, I guess. Just something I read, um, whether that's true or not. But in small in small um, inhalations, titanium dioxide is not deadly. It's not that harmful. But, I mean, if you could avoid it, just avoid it. Just don't dry fire your coals. If you're going to clean them, uh, either pulse it, which I'm not even going to do. I, I read that you could just take your coil, take your cotton out, and rinse it through some tap water, just dunk it in tap water, cold tap water, and it should clean the coal off just like it's brand new. So just avoid dry firing it basically. Now, you can use this on mech mods, temple control devices, or regulated devices. Me personally, I won't use it on mechs or regulated. I will only use it on temp control because this way I don't have to worry about it ever getting red because the temp control is supposed to prevent it from doing that. So in temp control format, we will have no issues with titanium because it's regulating it and not going to let it get to that point where it fires red. So now I feel comfortable enough to go close up. I'm going to show you a few builds I did. We'll look at the wire compared to some other wires. And it'll come up and I'll give you my final thoughts and my opinions on this wire. Alright everybody, so here we are with Spider Silk Wire by Envy. This is titanium wire. 99.5% um, titanium it's all 95, 99.5% pure. Um, here in the back of this is like a little plastic puck. You could just smash this thing. It's not a real hockey puck. It's just plastic. Got this little chrome this sticker here with this chrome spider on there. It just opens up. Look at here. It's just plastic. You got this nice big pad. It looks like Japanese organic cotton, which is always nice. Does it include that? You could always use that stuff. And you'll have your wire wrapped up here, and on inside, you'll have their Facebook, their Instagram, uh, hashtag spider silk wire. Advanced users only. Recommended number of wraps per coil is 10. Um, use a 30 amp or greater battery when vaping. So basically, it says if white film is present, clean before you use it. Um, and then it tells you right here, do not, do not allow wire to go red. Pulse heat when dry burning so basically do not dry burn if you're going to do it just pulse it very lightly and gently um, but here's the start of the show the wire I'm gonna take a piece here off I already got some other wires here for demonstration purposes um, it just comes tied up like this my first time using it also so kind of learning with you guys 
It's a little springy. All right. So here is a strand of titanium. This is 26 gauge and it comes in 15 feet spools. Um, I'm sure you can get it in bigger spools. Actually, you can. I've seen them uh, bigger spools and they go up to like 65 bucks for a huge spool of it. Um, so it's not the cheapest stuff in the world. No residue. I'm wiping it on my finger. It feels smooth. No oils or anything like that. Here's a piece of 26. This is just not going to be a good demonstration, but I know the piece with the hooked end here is my titanium. This is a piece of nickel wire. Uh, this one here is nickel and this is titanium. So the top is nickel. And the nickel here, this is 28 tempered and this is 26. This definitely feels thicker and more stiff. Um, a regular canthal. Firm as a bug. That's a piece of this is a piece of 26 gauge canthal. Definitely um, still more sturdy than the titanium down here. Alright, set that all away. Now we got titanium. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a coil build with you. We'll see how the stuff works here. Let's put a coil. We're going to go with my trusty old K-Fun here. My K-Fun V4, V4 clone. Um, I saw some videos on this. And I'm going to shoot for around, I don't know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 ohms. Right around that area. So maybe we're going to do an 8 wrap spaced coil. You can do micro coils with this. Um, but again, on their website, on Spider Silk's website, it does recommend space coils for better heating and cooling and flavor. So kind of the same thing as nickel. I'm going to take their advice and do exactly that. I got a two and a half millimeter rod here, and I'm just going to wrap. I'm thinking I'm going to go with eight coils. This is ultra low resistance wire, but it's not as low resistance as nickel, which is nice because nickel is so low you need a million wraps to get a decent ohm range. And uh, yeah, it's just a pain in the butt. Now this is lower than regular 26 gauge canthal. It's a third lower as far as resistance goes, a third lower. Um, but nickel is still lower. So with nickel, I would probably have to put about 10 or 11 wraps to get uh, 0.1 ohm right on the head with this we'll see I think with eight wraps I'll be somewhere near 0.2 ohms which is better for me so I got the wire in here just gonna wrap on camera four five six and well, let's go with seven No, let's go eight actually because I'm gonna pull one out anyway. There's eight wraps, a spaced coil. I'm gonna do what I usually do, pull my rod out. Flip it around. It definitely does not feel as flimsy as nickel did. It's got more rigidity rigidity to it. I'm just gonna wrap this one here. There we go. Seems more malleable too, a lot easier to straighten out. Much easier actually. So there you go, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wraps. Not the perfect coil in the world, but it'll do the job. Alright, so I got it here on the k fun V4 clone. I didn't do it on camera because I always struggle with this damn K-Fun before doing these builds. Um, but anyways, it's in there. It wasn't really that difficult with this wire. Actually, it feels more like Canthal than it does Nickel. Breaks off pretty easy. Very malleable. Uh, you know, you're not going to have an issue with this stuff. If you hated Nickel, this is definitely a good step up as far as consistency of wire. So we got the leads broken off there. And you could see, or not see... There you go. It looks like a pretty good coil. I really didn't do much to it. It's a 7 wrap, 26 gauge titanium build. I'm going to put some cotton in here and then we'll vape it up top. I'm going to slap one in my Aeolus, um, Aeolus clone and I'll show you what that looks like real quick. 
All right, so I built uh, a dual coil and a single coil out of titanium. Um, not very hard at all. Not very hard at all. Here is a single coil. This is like a, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wrap. You can see, pretty decent. Not great, but not horrible. Um, yeah, that's my K-Fun right there. And then here is the Aeolus clone. Uh, dual coil, we got what, like six wraps? Seven wraps. Dual coil, seven wrap. Looks not, not bad either. Spaced coils, actually very easy to work with. It feels a lot like Canthal. Maybe a little more flimsy, but not much. Let me turn this guy on. Let's see what resistance right here. Turn on Evic. There we go. So we're in temperature mode, uh, titanium mode, and we're reading 0.15. That's actually exactly where I want to be for a dual coil. Now on this one, it came out a little high. What did we get? 0.31. So, you know, a little high for for a temperature control um, device, but it will work. It will work just fine. I'll give it a go. I'll see how it works, and uh, we'll vape on it and talk about it a little more up top. So, um, you saw you saw two builds there. I mean, they weren't full builds. I didn't build the whole thing on camera, but I showed you how I wrapped some coils, and I showed you the coils close up and everything. Um, it's really a pleasure to work with. Compared to nickel wire, it's 100% easier to build with. Just 100%. It's not quite Canthal as far as uh, fill of wire and easy of building, but it's a lot closer to Canthal than nickel was. It's more malleable. It's easy to get it to where you want it to go. Um, it's not as flimsy as nickel. Nickel is just like one little touch and you throw the whole build off. This is a lot easier to work with. And something else that you need to know is, yes, it is lower resistance than traditional canthal or nichrome wire. It is not as low as nickel wire. Nickel wire's resistance is extremely low. This stuff is low, but it's in between nickel and canthal. So it's like that middle level of low resistance. 26-gauge uh, wire here, 10 wraps is going to get you about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 ohms. Like I said, I did... Eight, I don't remember now, I seven or eight wraps of titanium in here, and I got 0 0.3. And I did two du a dual coil, seven wrap each, and I got 0 0.15, which is probably my favorite to rock a temperature control device, is around that 0 0.15 to 0 0.2 ohm range. So to achieve those ohms that we're looking for with titanium, it's a little bit easier without having to do a billion wraps. The flavor's holding nicely. It's not blackening my cotton like with traditional uh, nickel and canthal. Usually my cotton turns really dark, and the actual wire itself turns dark. Um, titanium, now this is going on day three, and it's just darkened the hinge, but really the color is holding very true on here. Um, looks nice. Looks really nice. i have a vape real quick. Now you're probably wondering... How does it taste? How is the vape? How is the vape quality with this wire? Um, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. It's definitely better than nickel. Again, these are my opinions, but in my opinion, the flavor on titanium is just clean, 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 clean. From the moment you put that build in there till now and three days later, it still tastes clean. Uh, with nickel and canthal, sometimes you get a weird metallic taste at the beginning. Or just some weird taste at the beginning, and then it seems to go away. But I've always had a problem with nickel and the flavor is kind of just uh, a smidgen off. With titanium, not at all. It's just really clean. Now that this build on here came out to 0.14, which I showed you the coils in this up close. 0.14. Yeah, I'm using it at 520 degrees in titanium mode, temp control, 54 watts, and it's fantastic. Now, as far as the K-Fun, mouth to lung inhale on this one, I got it at 20 joules. This one came out a lot higher because it's just a single coil, bear in mind, 0 0.32 ohms. And I'm using it at 420 degrees, 20 joules. It's just a nice mouth to lung inhale. Vapes really nice, really nice. Uh, I can't say too much more, but I, I do recommend titanium. Now, don't go out there and go buy a spool right away. 
do your research, watch my video, you know, maybe watch some other videos, do your homework on TIY or see is it something you're willing to try. Know the, the risk factors with titanium dioxide. There goes that. Um, and you know, there, there's there's cons to it and there's positives. I think the flavor off it is really nice and I think it's easy to build with and I think it's a next step closer to uh, next step to perfecting it's not perfect yet, but you know, next step to getting perfection out of temperature control devices. Um, in my opinion, unless I have to, like it's a pre-built nickel coil, I'm not going to be using nickel probably. Fortunately, I'll expose the nickel wire I bought. Uh, I don't think you're going to get much use. It's just a decision I've made and I'm not telling anybody else not to do it. Um, everybody makes their own decisions and what they want to put in their body. I've seen some videos on nickel and um, I saw one in particular actually that kind of scared me a little bit about nickel leaching and stuff like that. Now, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know how much of all this is all true, uh, but I made the conscious decision to uh, switch over to titanium. And I've got no effects from it so far. I mean, I don't feel weird or anything. And, the, um, yeah, the things I've heard bad about titanium are things that can be avoided. So that I like. Again, it's just my, it's a personal decision I made, um, I'm not going to like, oh, I'm never going to use nickel. It's the worst thing in the world. No, no, no. I, I, I used to smoke, so uh, the things I put in my body with cigarettes, compared to what we're doing in vaping, it's nothing. It's nothing. So I'm not a, a phobe um, of nickel. You know, I, I still would use nickel if I had to. But I'd just rather use titanium right now. As, as my testing has gone, I'm finding that I like titanium and the flavor and the ease of build and... I hope this helps. I hope this gives you a little bit of info on titanium wire. Um, and again, this isn't a go get titanium wire video or a stay away from nickel video. Use what you feel comfortable using, and that, that's all there is to it. This is just my two cents on titanium wire. I hope this information was helpful. As always, guys, I'll put a subscription link down. God, I can never get it right down here below. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Live well and vape on.